Pork schnitzel's one of my favorites. It can be any night of the week. It's fast, it's easy, and I'm gonna show you how to add 5% magic to your pork schnitzel. It's easy. Breadcrumbs, some Parmesan cheese. This is the first step. And some sage leaves. Get some one of these beautiful big sage leaves. Need to be fresh sage leaves. Take them, and all we're gonna do is we're gonna roll them up. Come along with your good sharp knife and slice them up like this. Whilst they're all together, turn them 90 degrees and do some chopping and then just quickly, fingers up on top of the knife, round you go, done. And we can just mix that up there. We've got a sage, and parmesan cheese crust that's going to go on the outside of our schnitzel. I've got three eggs. I'm going to whisk those up. Nothing too difficult there. I've got some flour. I'm going to season it with some salt and pepper. Give it some flavour. Mix that around. There we go. Bring these guys down here. Have them in a line. Ready now to crumb our schnitzel. Take a piece of schnitzel into the flour, both sides. Give it a little shake into our egg. Both sides into our crust. Now get plenty of the crust on there. There we go. And simple as that. We can do this in advance before dinner. Keep them in the fridge. So again, flour into our egg wash. Into our crumb mix with our parmesan and sage and add some really good flavour to this dish once that cheese starts to melt. One more just for luck. Kids will love this. Everybody loves it. As soon as you start hiding things in breadcrumbs you know for sure you're going to be on a winner. Step two is to, to cook our schnitzel. I've got a pan on. We're going to heat some olive oil up. And as soon as it's hot, I'm actually going to put, you know, probably a quarter of a teaspoon of butter in there. There we are. Oil has started to heat up. I've dropped the pieces of butter in. I'm now going to lay our schnitzel over the top of the melting butter. And the, melt, the butter will then melt into the breadcrumbs, and that will add flavour. There we go. Now time to turn the heat down because we want just that golden brown colour on the outside. Give you a pan a bit of a shuffle, like that. Ensures that we're not sticking to the bottom of the pan when we do that. What I love about cooking schnitzel is it's, it's quick, and you can use these the next day for lunch. A cold pork schnitzel is unbelievable, especially with that cheesy sage crust on the outside. and they don't take long to cook at all. Here we go, flick that over. Lovely golden brown colour there. But it's not quite as brown as you'd like. Pop it back over. And with the lovely golden brown colour, the cheese is melted, really starting to smell good here. Out they go, just onto some paper towels. So any excess butter or oil from the cooking just be soaked up. Come across here, and we'll put two beautiful pieces, perhaps even three, on there like that. I've got some sage leaves that I had over, and I've just fried those in a little canola oil until they're crispy, and then put them onto a paper towel. Just cut a rustic piece of lemon off, 
So you have a fork in it so that when we can just squeeze it over the top, traditional with a twist. Trust me, you're going to love it.